Welcome to the IT Project Management Framework video series. The IT Project Management Framework provides a set of tools and concepts that help project teams achieve project success. In this video series, we'll walk you through the various phases of the IT Project Management life cycle. And in this introductory video, we will talk about the three major components of the framework. In general, a framework is a set of tools put together to help you accomplish your job faster and better. The IT Project Management Framework is a collection of concepts, methods, and tools. It helps project teams to walk the team through the journey of an IT project, from identifying the project to project initiation, planning, execution, and closeout, phase-by-phase, step-by-step. Throughout the life cycle, activities will be performed to address the management needs of the project. Documents will be produced as outputs of the life cycle activities. These documents must be managed, controlled, and archived. The framework provides the guidelines and tools in developing these documents. The framework comes with a conceptual repository that acts as a holding area of project documents and assets providing the team a centralized place for document retrieval. Let's take a look at the three major components that shape and support the IT project management framework. The first component is the project management life cycle, which defines an IT project's life cycle as five distinct phases. Each IT project progresses through the five phases, completing the activities within and producing a set of related document outputs. We will explain the life cycle in detail in the next videos of this video series. The second component is the project management repository. Project management repository is a holding area for all the project management resources produced and required during project life cycle. It provides a common place for the project team to locate deliverables and reusable access. The third component project complexity classification. There is no one size fits all when it comes to project management. The framework comes with four sets of project management schemes providing support to IT projects in any levels of complexity, which is determined through a classification process. Let's go through the three components in detail. The first one, the project management life cycle. An IT project can be divided into five distinct phases, from identification of project until closeout. Each phase is a collection of related project activities. Each project progresses through the five phases, completing the activities required and producing a set of related document outputs. Here is a quick walkthrough of the five phases. The first phase is the identification phase, its primary objective is to determine whether a proposed IT project should be undertaken. Activities of this phase involve identifying solutions and providing recommendation based on the analysis of cost and benefits for each possible solution. By the end of this phase, a project proposal will be developed. A project sponsor evaluates it and determines if the project should be undertaken. Projects receiving formal sponsorship progress to the next phase of the life cycle. The initiation phase begins with the performing organization appoints a project manager to lead the project team and manage the project. The project manager defines the project scope and develops the project charter, which will be approved by approving authority and project sponsor. The signatures formally empower the project manager to expand resources on the project and begin the planning phase of the project. In the planning phase, various planning activities will be conducted, which includes the planning of work, schedule, budget, resources, staffing need, and etc. Those planning activities will be performed to ensure the project will be completed on time and within budget. In the execution and control phase, the project completes the development activities identified in the planning phase to produce the project deliverables required. This phase ends by having the deliverables accepted by the users and the project sponsor. 
Phase 5, the closeout phase. This phase involves discussing and documenting the lessons learned from the project, as well as the plan and conduct transferal activities. This is how an IT project starts and ends. We will go through the five phases one by one in the coming videos. Project Management Repository As said earlier, throughout the project management life cycle, activities will be performed. The information collected will be organized and output as documents. It is important to have these documents managed and archived so that the participants of projects can access them as needed. The Project Management Repository is a place to hold these documents and other project resources. It comprises a number of containers for holding different kinds of project documents and artifacts, known as drawers. For instance, there are five drawers to hold the documents produced by the five phases of project management life cycle. There are also drawers that store the different kinds of procurement documents such as contracts, purchase orders, and any statement of work. Resources that help the team in executing their duties as required can be put under drawers like policies, standards, procedures, and etc. Project Complexity Classification There is no one-size-fits-all when it comes to project management. Having a clear understanding of your project's complexity helps determine what activities and deliverables are required for managing the project. The IT Project Management Framework provides a project complexity questionnaire that helps you determine your project's complexity. By answering a set of complexity questions, a complexity score will be obtained which determines the classification of project complexity. We will talk more about the idea and the result of complexity classification in the video that talks about the initiation phase. This is the end of the introduction of the IT Project Management Framework. Before you go, let's have a quick summary of this video. You've learned what the framework is. The framework is a collection of concepts, methods, and tools that help you manage project life cycle, document project, and manage project documents and artifacts. The framework comprises three major components. The project management life cycle, which consists of five distinct project phases, and each phase contains a related set of activities that yield a set of project documents. The project management repository, which is a place that holds a project documents and other project resources. The project complexity classification, which helps you determine the project's complexity in order to find out the set of activities and documents to be accomplished. Starting from the next video, we will talk about the five phases of the project management life cycle. Of course, we will start from the identification phase, which is the first phase. See you there.